Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to go over the forms and interest rates impact on the market and with its impact, what potential trades do we need to be looking at for the near future and for the rest of the week? With that being said, let's dive right into that. Um, so we're going to start off with DXY, obviously the US dollar currency index. We can see right now prices were in this kind of descending triangle pattern. You can see we had here these descending lows, and then we had this as a common base. So we can see prices are being re have been rejected from here, created a lower high and a lower low, and then prices have gone ahead to create another lower low. So we'll be looking to see for another retracement and then a continuation to finish off this move, right? So on the DXY, I'm expecting to see prices to keep on selling, meaning I'm expecting to see the dollar become weak until it reaches somewhere down here. So let's look into the lower time frames. Yesterday, with the impact of the forms, prices became strong. Like the US dollar became strong, you can see here prices became strong but even with this strength from the interest rate and the forms prices failed to break above this resistance and once prices failed to break above this resistance it was a clear picture that the US dollar doesn't have enough strength so for it to buy it will have to come and look for more strength or for more buying pressure from a stronger support or resistance I'm um, from a strong support excuse me and obviously as you can see here look at this previous four hour candlestick prices are just pushing lower. Prices are pushing lower, it's crazy. With this bearish momentum, sheesh, who knows where the US dollar will end up. It's a very strong bearish momentum. We can adjust that bit. Um, So we can see it broke below the most recent low. So we have to anticipate to see a continuation until probably prices reach here on this green line because that's the most recent structure that's coming into play and then after that given the history we'll have to see prices retrace until somewhere up here which obviously aligns with this structure so once prices reach here we'll be looking for a retracement until somewhere here as they did in the past you can see here before prices reached here they retraced these highs and then after that we'll see look for a continuation for prices to sell until they reach these bottoms so <clears throat> that's how i'm anticipating to see the us dollar play out for the near future and for the rest of this week obviously this is the four hours so tomorrow is friday a lot of things can happen given these prices continue moving with this crazy momentum it's very easy for prices to tap these lows tomorrow during the new york session so dxy that's what that's what i'm anticipating to see play out and how will that impact pairs? Obviously, Euro USD. I'll be anticipating to see prices reach up here. Um, so I took a trade today on Euro USD, or as you can see, it's already in above one R and it's in deep profits. So I'm anticipating to see prices reach here um, before we actually secure or before we hit take profits. You can see GU prices will keep on pushing higher because they're inversely correlated to the US dollar. As you can see, it just broke above the most recent high. It just broke above that. So I'll be anticipating to see prices keep on pushing higher until they reach yay high. As you can see on the left-hand side, we have no clear resistance. It's a clean slate until prices reach up here. Um, so on, on GU, if I get a little retracement, I'll be looking for entries because it's a very clean slate on the left-hand side. So I'll just be looking for buys to swing with them all the way until they reach up there. Gold, obviously, prices are still ranging. Let me remove this. Um, gold prices are still ranging. You can see they're still in this box. They're still ranging. Um, so we'll be waiting for, obviously, a break above here. Before we get that continuation. Um, but so far, no trade on gold. Um, <clears throat> Euro JPY, obviously a clean bullish. Ah, we haven't talked about the Japanese yen yet. So with the JPYX, um, it's obviously a bearish trend as we spotted this from the weekly perspective. 
we had a double top here prices broke and retested the double top the neckline and it was a clean sell until prices reached these bottoms so we can see prices are still pushing lower um so usd jpy obviously we have to anticipate to see prices push until they reach up here which is another pair that i'm looking for entries um euro jpy obviously another pair that i'm looking to take buys if we look at it from a monthly perspective it will be clearer for me to take buys until prices reach up here as you can see prices just broke above these highs and it's with a very solid bullish momentum so i'll be anticipating to see prices push until they reach up there card jpy same thing applies these will be my first targets and then these will be my final targets so um that's what i'm anticipating to see play out on the jpyx and the dxy due to the reaction of the interest rate of the us dollar interest rate and the forms release so if you found value in this video guys please give us a like share subscribe and let a few friends know about the channel black forex is where we actually just talk about the fascinating world of trading let them know let them subscribe welcome them to the family with that being said guys appreciate you all Take it easy out there. Peace.